Hey guys, this is Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com and this is the Ask PTL Show. We're going to be talking about today how much of the math portion makes up the PTCB exam. So, 12.5% of the PTCB exam is math as it stands now, okay? That could change at any given moment. Now, I'm going to give you a bonus here today and tell you about how you can be able to do any math problem on the PTCB exam that they throw at you. I'm listening. <laughs> this is the way we teach our students at PharmacyTechLessons.com. You need to learn math, not by way of formula. We do not teach formulas at Pharmacy Tech Lessons. The reason why is this. You already, when we think about the exam in its totality, right? Because when you're going in, you're not just taking a math, pharmacy technician math test, you're taking the whole PTCB exam. So you're taking math, law, drugs, insurance information, uh, even customer service information, who's in charge, who's this, what, what the DEA created, how to decipher DEA number, is it right, is it wrong, how to fill out prescription. You're thinking about all these different components and if you're a person that has never heard of it before and it's fresh to your mind, then it's a lot of different information to be thrown at you for the first time, okay? So I'm trying to get you to see the odds of why some of you have failed the exam and also the odds of why you can, or how rather the odds of how you can pass the exam going forward, how you need to look at your chances, okay? When it comes to the math, you gotta learn household measurements, the metric system, okay? How to go from um, ounces, how many gallon, how many ounces are in a gallon? So you gotta learn all those little rules plus not to even mention all of the formulas, which there can be as many as 16 of them. And you gotta know what, you gotta be able to read the word problem and know what to pull out, what to leave there, what matters to get the answer, how to find the answers, what elements to use. That's a lot. Whew. That is a lot. We don't teach our students to memorize formulas. If you go to the video on this channel, um, it's going to be on temperatures. We teach you, and this is just a basic way of showing you how we teach our students to not use a bunch of formulas. We maybe only use three formulas with our students for all of the pharmacy technician math. And this is because this is how we do it. We teach you how to decipher temperature, not using two or three formulas for temperature only, but we teach you that using one formula, one formula. And so this is how we teach the math period. This is how we teach you all pharmacy technician math period. We condense it down to three formulas for you to use. And if you would like that method, because I'm telling you, it's going to help you no matter what problem they throw at you, when you conceptually learn it and not by memorization of formulas, you're going to be able to do any problem that they throw at you on the exam. I guarantee you. Guarantee. The way you're going to be able to do it is like this. You're going to have to get with someone that knows what they're doing and you're going to have to learn from them. Okay. Get with a program that knows what they're doing. Get with a study guide that knows what, or that can teach you the right way of doing it. Get with people who know what they're doing and learn from them. I came in for learning pharmacy technician math. I did not know hardly anything except for basic algebra, basic like addition, subtraction, division. I had to literally learn step-by-step step how to do word problems, how to do, uh, uh, how to, to decipher different solutions how to tell the difference between a D5 and D20. 
I had to learn how to do that and I had to learn how to do it on a timed basis. Okay, so that adds even more pressure. The fact that it's timed, okay? But it's possible. Then I got to the point that I could teach other people pharmacy technician math, like yourself, okay? I always share with you guys about Danielle. She's one of my favorite examples to use that we have many that have come through our program. Literally, Danielle knew nothing about pharmacy technician math. Danielle now in the private group, the Code of Pharmacy, she now teaches math in there to others. She helps other students with math in the group. It's, it's amazing. So if you wanna learn how to do that, go to pharmacytechlessons.com, click the training tab and get in the program today, okay? We have the one-time pricing. It's gonna be very beneficial to you, but that's two elements, things that I wanted to share with you. One was this, get with the right people, Follow the process and do what they tell you to do, especially if they have a proven track record. And the second thing is don't memorize formulas. Learn conceptually, okay? And like I said, if you wanna learn more in depth on that, then we will gladly teach you that over in the program. So you guys, this has been Onisha Biggs of PharmacyTechLessons.com. This is the Ask PTL Show. I have enjoyed you all. Take care and have a great day.